Common causes of basement leaks is improper grading around the home. Um, if a house has experienced some structural issues with the foundation walls moving laterally um, or vertically up and down and in, you know, in or out. Also depends on uh, the age of the home, whether it's a cinder block wall, foundation wall, poured foundation wall or stone. Those are the three main, you know, those are the only three foundations that we see. And it could be a various, it could be a few things that comes into play with the stones. It's more susceptible to water intrusion because it's more, the wall is more coarse and there's more gaps in between the stone and kind of same with cinder block. Um, if you know, cinder block, you go to an old house where cinder block is either not properly installed right, the walls can tend to break and crack. Depending on how severe the structural damage is, um, you know, you're going to want to address the structural issues first and then, and then waterproof because you don't necessarily just want to waterproof a basin without making sure that it's structurally sound because water can still make its way in um, if the cracks aren't either addressed right even if that's through epoxy injection and steel I-beams or piers, there's, you know, there's a lot that goes into it, so. Proper grade is when um, your home is, you have to have a proper grade, meaning it's got a, you know, it starts high at the foundation and, and slopes away from the house. So whenever it rains, water can slope. Instead of if, if you have a negative grade, this is a negative grade. Water comes in and just collects and puts that water pressure onto the house. If you have a proper grade and functioning gutters, you want that rainwater or snow melt or whatever it is to run away from the home to prevent any extra stress on, on the foundation itself. So you can call a landscaper or a foundation company and, um, and get, get ideas and thoughts and what, how to get that uh, proper grade um, to help keep the water out of homes.